Hey you guys, so better late than never. So tonight I wanted to come to you. We're gonna start a project that is super cute. So we're gonna finish it tomorrow because of course everything's gonna have to dry. But we are gonna make these super cute earrings. I was inspired by a, um, a artist on, I think it was Instagram. I saw where she had taken hearts and made them into like cute little cut off shorts. And so these are actually buttocks, right? And so this is like a pair of jeans or jean shorts with pockets. And then of course, this is supposed to be the lower back as if they were like low hanging. So, so cute. So stay tuned. We're gonna start that project tonight. I wanted to show you I'm wearing um, the necklaces that I made the other day that I taught on and we made these pendants from the glass beads from the Dollar Tree. I just wanted you to show, I just wanted to show you how cute they look on a chain. They are really pretty. I got compliments on them when I wore them today and my son even tried it on. So you'll see the picture coming up next of him wearing the green one. So they can be unisex, right? They can be masculine. Um, or they can be feminine. So just really, really super cute. So I love that project. I'll put that video after this one as a recommended video so you can see how to make um, the earrings and the pendants that we made the other night. Since they happen to be right here beside me, I'll just show them to you right quick. So they had matching earrings to go along with the pendants. Super cute. So the first thing I wanna do tonight is just a mini haul. I just wanna show you a couple things I got from the Dollar Tree. So thank you to Joyce McTeer. She did a video the other night, I'm sorry, the other day. And on that video, she actually showed how to make a pair of um, earrings, which were really, really cute. I'm fighting with that light. She made a really, really cute pair of earrings out of cork. And so when I went to Dollar Tree, I was having trouble finding it, but I ended up, it was laying down and I was expecting it to be hanging up. So thanks to Joyce McTeer for recommending the adhesive cork sheet. So I'm super excited. Not sure what I'm going to make with these. Definitely going to be earrings and necklace sets. So excited about that. And then these are super cute. So these are some um, colored dots that I found that I thought would make really great embellishments. And they're actually little stickers that pop up. So they're raised. I'll open it up so you can see it. And then how was your day? Oh my gosh, I thought I would never get here to do this video from that delicious chapel. Then I had to do a training. I'm on a coaching, I'm on a staff to teach and I teach marketing for Breakpoint Life Coaching. So six figure success principles. I teach that once a month or once every quarter. So these are like raised dots. They actually look like pieces of candy. They are so cute. So I got these from the Dollar Tree and there's actually 60. I mean, so the sky is the limit of what you can do with these. And so I got them in that diameter, which is the larger diameter. I'm trying to put them back in here because y'all have stuff all over the place. Good gracious. I need to clean up this weekend. That needs to be at the top of my list of things to do. Oh no, one of them popped off. Let me see if I can get this back in here. So then the other little dots that we got, that was trying to give me a hard time, are the tiny little dots. And so I'm not gonna take these out, but same colors, same concept, little pop-up stickers. There's 117 of these. So just imagine the sky is the limit of the items that you can create with those. I just wanted to do a quick little haul. And so I ordered myself something from Etsy. I was gonna open it. My um, teenager, was, um, my daughter was actually like, well, mom, I'll open it. What did you order? And I'm like, well, I think I wanna do like an unboxing. I'm looking at the light, like you gonna work with me tonight, right? <laughs> So anyway, maybe it's not. So I'm going to cut it open. And what I ordered was this super cute resin mold because just with everything that's been going on, I wanted to have some um, African-American inspired jewelry that I'm creating that represents me and my culture. And I'm just excited to do that. And so, yeah, I'm going to get this light going. Oh, I like that right there. Perfect. That told you it was going to cooperate. So... I went online from Etsy and I ordered, I'll have to remember her website so I can share the link with you, but I ordered this cute little Africa mold because I want to create some custom jewelry 
I have necklaces in mind that I want to make using the mold of the motherland. So I am excited about that. Oh, she actually has a card in here. So let's see. It came with a card. It's called Nikki's Neck Shop. It says commissions are always welcome. It has her Instagram. And so I will share her information down below. On the back is a cow head, but I didn't care too much for the cow head because it just weirded me out. But right here we have um, her return policy, um, how they give refunds. I love this, it's very professional. And then it says, what, which mold do I need? And it has like a mold checkoff card. And on the back, it talks about flexibility and strength to help you pick out which mold that you want. So enough of the jibber jabber. So this is the Africa mold. I love it, it's super flexible. It's shiny right in here. And then there's smaller ones as well, which I think is so cool. So there's the small one that way. There's the small one this way. And then there's of course the larger mold of Africa. So I'm so excited to be able to use these for resin. You can use these for polymer clay. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. I believe you could probably use them for some type of paper molding product, but we will find out. But I wanted to share that with you because I thought that was, it came today and I wasn't expecting them until next week. The mold was $15, which I thought was a little pricey for a mold because I know how to make molds, but I don't have an Africa base to make one with. And I was like, hey, if Nikki has it, let's give Nikki the money, get it and call it a day. And it came really quickly because I just ordered it last Saturday. And it was shipping from Maryland. And mail normally takes seven days to get here. So tonight, these are the materials that you're going to need to create these super cute bootylicious earrings. Now you can use these for pendants. Even though the hole is down here, you could even put like something like one of these little dots to cover up the hole or a stud or some type of stone it doesn't have to, um, the earring doesn't have to hang as a sideways heart. So all the um, young lady did that made the pair I saw was she took some hearts, wooden hearts, reversed them and made them look like cut off short shorts. That is so super cute. So this is my rendition of those. I was inspired to make those from her. And then just really quickly, so this is a smaller pair and I'm gonna show you how I did them. That's a smaller pair. And then this is another pair, just like the ones I showed you, but they don't have the pockets on them yet. So super, super cute. And then this is just a little show and tell. So my sorority is Delta Sigma Theta. Shout out to my sorority sisters. Ooh, right? So these are some Delta earrings that I made. Now the Delta Sigma Theta symbols are um, trademark. So what I did was I created the elephants because you know, elephants not trademark. And I added 1913, which was the year that we were founded. And I made these super cute earrings. And so how adorable are they? I actually believe I'm gonna give them to one of my best friends who's also my sorority sister. She was my best friend, one of my best friends before she pledged, I pledged in 91. So super, super cute. The back has some cleaning up that needs to be done. So we don't need to see all that, but look how super cute those are. So think about, making sorority and fraternity jewelry my brother sells a lot of fraternity jewelry i've got to get the link to his website so you can go see all his jewelry he has some activist jewelry that is so cool like i can't breathe um he sold a bunch of bracelets to um sandra bland and trayvon martin's moms when they were going on their tour and um they were just so grateful and just he's very impactful with his jewelry so i would get his website i should know it i'm sorry michael but i don't know it by heart so the items that you're gonna need so these are the items that you're gonna need to make the super cute booty earrings or necklace pendants because they'll be super cute on the chain as well whatever you want to do pins whatever right so you're gonna need some wooden hearts now i got these hearts from michael's over in the section near the doll houses, not the same section that you would get the other wood pieces from. Um, what am I trying to say? Like the circles and whatnot. So not the same section you would get the circles from, but there were different size hearts over in by the doll house wood and um, like at the flat back of the wall at the end of the bead aisle. That's where I got these from. 
And in here are different sizes. I believe that this pack was about $4.99. At the time when I bought it, I had a coupon for 50% off. There are 20 pieces in here, so you can make 10 pair of earrings or you can make 20 pendants, so that's really cool. So tonight what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a smaller pair because I didn't wanna open that box and already had some hearts open. So you're gonna need your hearts, any size that you need from your box, from your set. You're gonna need a paintbrush. Let me see which brush I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a wider paintbrush so we can hurry up and get the base painted. And then you're gonna need different shades of blue. So notice that there's a bit of an ombre right in here. And this is my first time when I made those. So you could it's more noticeable than gradient. So bear with me. But I thought it came out really cute. Or you can just do a solid blue, because think about it, these are just supposed to emulate blue jeans, right? So any color that you want to use is going to be fine. Those I had started with the gradient and I just hadn't put the pockets on yet. So whatever you choose to do, it's your design. And especially if you find this video and you're Caucasian, you can make this a Caucasian skin color or European. Um, if you're Indian and you have more red undertones um, or if you're lighter skin African American, you can make, this is supposed to represent the skin because these are um, like low rise jeans. That's what this is supposed to represent. So any color you wanna do right here is fine. So what we're gonna do start now is we're gonna, I'm sorry, so you take your hearts and you're gonna find the smooth side to the heart because you wanna paint on the smooth surface because one side is rougher than the other and the other one is smooth. So these are our smooth sides. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn them upside down to where the bottom of the butt cheeks or the, the bottom of the hearts would face us. And that's how we're gonna paint. So now I have to decide, do I wanna do dark blue denim or lighter denim? And it really doesn't matter, but let's go with dark blue for kicks and giggles so it'll show up better on camera, okay? So I realized that I forgot my, oh, here's my plate. So I'm gonna sit my plate off to the side. I'm just gonna pour, just poured out some of the blue paint right there. And I'm gonna move it over to the side. The other color you're gonna use is, I'm doing, of course, a brown girl, cause I'm brown. And this is called light cinnamon. So the art, I mean, the colors I'm gonna be using are the Americana Deco Art in light cinnamon and ultramarine blue. And then, what color I'm gonna to use to make the pockets. I forgot that I actually did have a white paint. And so this is just called Wicker White. Remember I was doing the um, the jewelry on the glass beads and I didn't have white, so I was using a butter buttercream color, but I actually found out I did have a white. I just remember it being really loosey-goosey. So the white is gonna be for the pockets and the stitching on the faux jeans, okay? So let's start painting. I do have a bowl of water over here off to the side and a napkin just to dip my brush on. So I just wet my brush to give it some slip, but it's not wet or saturated with water. It's just because that way the paint will go on smoothly and we'll be good to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the heart up and then we're gonna hold the pointed part in our hand and we're gonna paint the butt cheek area, okay? Now you can go ahead and paint the sides if you want to, like right down in here, like go ahead and get that first coat on there. But what I will tell you about these wood pieces is they're very sturdy. So they're very, they're thicker than um, the regular wood pieces that a lot of us use to paint from, um, which is really cool because they're sturdy, they feel very professional. So if and when you decide to sell these to someone they have some weight to them. They just feel really girthy. So I like that. So we got our first pair of jeans painted. And now we're gonna do the next pair. And we're just painting the little butt cheek area. Paint some hind parts. I just, when I saw these, I thought those are so cute. And I just, of course, hers look way better than mine. Like I said, I just wanna, I was inspired to do my own pair and but hers were like a work of art. I thought they looked, they were really pretty. I, and I saw it last year, so I don't even remember who the young lady was. I hadn't been able to find her again on Instagram. But anyway, um, but she definitely inspired me to make these cute earrings. So 
super cute. And if we want, we can go back and do the other, the second coat here so it can be drying. And not only that, remember we said we're gonna do like an ombre, so it won't matter. It's like an acid wash jean. So it won't matter if some of the lighter color from the heart shows up on here because it's just gonna make it look like our jeans are acid washed. So we don't even have to overthink, should I let this coat completely dry? Or you know, what if I wipe off some of the paint, continuing the paint, it doesn't matter. So we're just doing our upside down heart and I'm trying my best and you could tape this off right here across here if you wanted to so that you could get a cleaner edge for your brown and for your white. Um, but I didn't, I didn't tape it off. But what I could do is let it dry and then tape it um, if I wanted to. And that would give me like a really seamless white line. I mean, but no denim is perfect. And when you wear it, it's not gonna be perfectly straight. So let's just be artist. Let's not get caught up in making it perfect. We're just going to do it free form. It's going to be super cute. And you can have you a pair of Bootylicious earrings for the summer. Not copywriting anybody's song. I'm just using the word. So you're going to have some super cute Daisy Duke. That would be copywritten too. Um, you're going to have some super cute short, short earrings for the summer. So now what we want to do is put them upside down and just put them side by side and make sure they are even. And they are, they look really great. Now what I could do is I could go ahead and paint, I think this one's a little bit wider. I might have to go up a little bit more. So just make sure that they match, especially if you're gonna be selling your jewelry, um, you wanna make sure that they match. So your short shorts look the same. Hopefully the word short shorts is not copywritten. And I'm just pulling the blue downward that way. So super cute. So now I'm gonna clean my brush off. And what we could do, and what I did do, is I went on and did the brown first, and then after I put the brown on, then I came back and put the white line on. Because if you put the white line on and then the brown, you run the risk of covering the white up by accident if you don't have a steady hand. Like I say all the time, I don't have a super steady hand. I don't know if I ever did, but from years of doing hair, my hand is not steady. Um, it doesn't shake or anything, but, but it's just not steady for drawing and painting. So I'm using some of the light cinnamon. And I just put a little dot. I tend to put, that was just a little gobbledygook that came out. I tend to do less is more so I don't waste my paint um, and it'll last longer. So I'm gonna use the same brush. And what I'm gonna do is get our pointy tool if I can reach. Oh, Bolt, I'm sorry. Y'all didn't realize the dog was under the table and I accidentally kicked the dog. I'm sorry, Bolt, Bolt. You okay, sweetness? I'm sorry. I love you. You okay? Sweet noodle. I didn't kick him hard, but sure it caught him off guard. Get down. I saw we. I will. will. So now what I'm going to do, I love you. I got to finish teaching how to make short, short earrings. So now what I'm doing is I'm just holding the heart shape down. I know that kind of irritated you. And then I'm just painting the light cinnamon color, which actually looks kind of like a boo-boo brown. <laughs> anyway. I'm painting a light cinnamon color like we just talked about, and that's the Americana Deco Art. And I'm just matching it up to that line. And so what I'm also doing is I'm gonna go ahead and do the sides since I'm already painting them anyway. And same thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the second coat on there so it can be drying. And then we could go ahead and put our white line on. So I got that one done, I'm gonna move it out the way. And then I'm going to put the other coat on of our short, short earrings. And y'all, these are gonna be so stinking cute. Everybody's gonna want you to do a pair. And guess what? You can do different color shorts, right? That was my plan when I, when I painted these. I think I painted these last year or earlier, earlier this year before I started doing YouTube videos, before the Lord told me, before the Lord led me to start teaching and told me to come on and share. 
Um, I had already painted these. I just had not yet turned them into any type of jewelry. They just been sitting around waiting on you. So here we are. Turn them so you can see them. And so look, they are already super cute and we haven't even put the white line on yet. So I love how the blue is already starting to dry. And um, I'm gonna pick it up so you can see it. It already looks like a pair of low rise jeans. So cute. You don't have to add that white line if you don't want to. But when you put the white line on there, that just gives you the indication of the stitching, right? Because when you put the white line, you put the pockets, it looks like a pair of blue jeans. So I think I'm going to do one more coat of the brown and then we're going to let it dry. My hand slipped, so I went just a little bit further than I wanted to. But I guess it'll be okay because that's where the white line is going to be anyway. So we don't have to get it perfect. And that's what I love about art and painting. I mean, it's a, you can express yourself however you want to. And nobody has to know what you meant as a mistake or whether or not you meant to do something or not. If they like it, then like Cold Stone Creamy, and they like it, love it, gotta have it. So, super cute. We're gonna let those dry for a second. And then we're gonna finish creating our short, short earrings. Now, what's really cool about these is that there are um, no holes in them like these hearts. So you can either buy the hearts with the holes or you can buy a pack of, um, of hearts that don't have the holes. I just realized there were two different types of hearts. I'm sorry about that. So you can either buy the hearts with just as many, 20 pieces come in the same in a box, same type. These are called, oh, this is Recollections. So these are by Recollections at your local Michaels. And you can get, I mean, just tons of hearts. It seems like it was more than 20 pieces in the box though, or the um, packaging that it came in. Don't quote me on that. But I mean, they're super cute. So what I like about these, look how thick they are. And I like these because they come in different sizes and they have holes in them. Um, so it's really just a matter of preference. I mean, either way you can make the, um, the short shorts and make them be or do what you want. So let's let these dry and we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so let's get back to creating these super cute short shorts. Now it's time to put the white line on them. So almost dropped paint. <laughs> so now we're gonna put the white line on. So this is where you're gonna need your white paint. Stay tuned. Just getting the brush that we're gonna use. So, we're gonna use, I'm gonna use like a, um, what are these called? Like a liner brush and this is R9250. And you probably saw me use it before on another project where we needed to make sort of a straight line. So we're gonna shake our paint up. And I remember this paint being kind of loosey goosey so I don't know if I'm gonna try to do the pockets yet, only because the blue is still drying, but we'll see, okay? Yeah, I knew it was loosey-goosey because it just flew out when I opened it. <laughs> so we are not gonna use a lot of this. I almost wanna use the buttercream. <sighs> but since we got it out, we're gonna go ahead and use it. So, oh, it thickened up a little bit. So we're gonna use that and that's way more than I need. I'm just gonna roll the brush and when I go to put it on the um, jeans, you'll see. I'm just gonna hold it and then I'm gonna do my best. Notice how there's a little hair sticking up right there. I don't want that to. I'm wondering if I should cut that off. No, it went down. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it down then I'll lift it up for you to see it, but I'm just gonna use a, it didn't go away, hold on. I'm gonna cut it off. Cause you know, when you have stray hairs like that, they'll get in your design. Meaning they'll cause the paint to go places you don't want it to go. So I'm gonna lay it flat and I'm just gonna gently pull the line across, okay? Now you could maybe use um, a white paint pen if you wanted to, but I'm just choosing to use this really thin brush 
And you can do a thin line or a thick line. This is just to denote a separation from the jeans and the skin of the, the design. Super cute. I'm gonna leave that alone. So I got a little bit more paint. I'm just gonna draw it across. And I'm gonna do my best to get them as even as possible. And the best part about this is if you make one line wider than the other one, you can just go back over the other line and make it just as wide. So let's look at them and see if they're even. They're close enough. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit more to this one. And then I remember this paint, like if I try to do another coat and don't let it dry enough, it'll crack. And my finger just got stuck to the brown right there. So I'm gonna go back over the brown and then we're gonna have to let this sufficiently dry so we don't mess our design up. So let's leave that alone. I'm gonna wet one more brush. I'm just gonna use a little brush to touch up the brown spot. So my fingerprint's not on there, smooth that out. And I noticed about this being a thicker wood that it's a little bit more porous than the flatter pieces of wood. So like some of your paint will take longer to dry because it has to seep through more layers of wood. So I, ha I do notice that about these bases versus the really thin wood bases. So I'm just gonna do a second coat on both of them since we're already here. Now, again, what you could do is you could tape this off and get a straighter white line, but I'm not looking for perfection, I'm looking for cuteness. And so, again, when you go to put on jeans, they don't always fit perfectly. They might be cute, right? But your seams aren't perfectly straight. So I'm happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna pick them up so you can see them. And here we are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these dry and then on part two of the video, we're gonna add the detailing. We're gonna add um, some seams and we're gonna add some pockets. So stay tuned to watch part two and I'll probably do that part tomorrow. So you'll see that then. I hope you enjoyed tonight's project, making some super cute short, short earrings or short, short pendants for the summer. Talk to you guys tomorrow.